All right, guys, so we're going to finally do it. This dude right here, uh, Cam Newton, is about to get raid sold, but that's not what any of this is about. We're going to be taking a look at the fact that... Hold up, wait a minute. Why do we have two unopened packs? Oh, that's the one thing right there. Okay, I got it. So, uh, Kyla Murray is in this pack. Now, for those of you guys that didn't um, either take advantage of the blitz sales that were going on, because what happened was I wasn't available to be on the game during the draft, so I didn't get to take advantage of any of the things that were actually going on in the store uh, that were live during the time. So pretty much a lot of you guys had opportunities to get like very, very cheap. Um, what was it? You, you had cheap packs for Ultimate Legends. A lot of different things were going on. Uh, but a lot of other people didn't get that opportunity if they weren't able to be on the game at that time. So I had already pulled them out of the general pack. Uh, for those of you guys that are wondering, like, yo, bro, g -Mai, they they had the packs up for mad, you know, for short times. Like, they didn't give you a chance. Yo, I understand that. But they told you guys uh, via Twitter, at EA Sports underscore Mutt, they kind of disclosed that some of those packs were only going to be up for 10 minutes. I know it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. That's what they had going on at that time. So we have to kind of see, um, you know, hopefully you, a lot of you guys made out. I, I know at least two guys. Oh, my goodness. I know at least two guys tweeted me. Uh, that they got the number one pick, who was Kyler Murray. So congratulations to Kyler Murray uh, and the Cardinal fans. If you guys are Cardinal fans, let me know what you're thinking about it. Bro, are you excited about this guy? Or, like, what are you really feeling about him? You know what I'm saying? Like, I just want to know. Uh, he is going to be replacing Cam Newton effective immediately. I just want to know what you guys are thinking about him. Uh, so, wait a minute. He's like 5'10". A lot of you guys are like, yo, bro, he's mad short, bro. He's going to be doing this, going to be doing that. Look, I appreciate all your thoughts, but I make moves, bro. I don't sit around and wonder what would happen. I take a chance. So Cam Newton's going to be getting rage sold effective immediately for all of the disrespect that he has been doing on a consecutive basis. And it's been very, very annoying uh, what he's been doing. So this is what we're going to be taking a look at right now. We are going to, uh, through our item binder, we're going to be, uh, first of all, we got to get training points because we got to upgrade everything that we're going to need for him. So this is another reason why I was telling you guys to hold on to some of your, you know, the players or whatever. Because this might be an opportunity for you to, uh, you know, get rid of them for training points. Like I told you, I pulled a couple of the other players. Where were they? Like Dan Marino. Like, wh what am I going to do with this guy? So I'll just go ahead and get the 18,000 training from him. Like, why would I need that guy at any time? I won't. It doesn't matter. Now, as far as the other players, like Aqib, Talib, and these guys, um, you, let's check their price and see what's going on. All right, so he's all the way back down to 170. So more than likely, we should have sold him at the 255 because everything is, you know, the way that it is. But remember, we can still use them for picks to gamble inside the store and try to pull a limited. So, you know, obviously it's it's a win it's it's a win win or it's a lose lose because everybody was preparing to go crazy for the picks and then uh, you know, pr pretty much that happened. You know, like the way that the players are, it's only a few players that people actually want. But remember, those limited time players are are available in the packs. So, if we were to go and do a pack opening, we have a chance of that. You see these players right here? These guys are limited time, and they're available until 427. So they're going to be inside of, um, the, like, these picks right here. Where is it? No. Where, where's the pick players? Right here. The Color Smash players. They'll be inside these. Uh, the 97s, obviously, is only going to give you the 97s. The 80 to 83 is going to obviously only do that. And then this one is pretty much useless right now because you should you could probably get enough to just purchase the player that you want, like I thought would happen uh, regardless. So... This right here, you know, those guys, uh, you know, the limited draft players, it, they're either going to be there or here. It's kind of weird, though, because I don't – are they considered color smash? Let's go check and see what they're considered. Are these – no, they're just NFL draft players. So what, they would probably be inside the other one, um, the 84 plus overall. Now, now I don't even know which one to gamble with because they're not color rush players. They're actual NFL draft. So it does make sense that you would go after the actual draft players in the 84 – it looks like you would go after this one, right? Because it, it'll be because they're draft players, so it should be there. The color smash is not really popping right now. Then you would probably have to gamble inside this one right here and see if you could pull a Marshawn Lynch or a Miles Garrett, um, and then you have to go from there. That's what that's what I believe. Let me know if you've pulled anything else out of the other ones and leave it in the comments so we can help everybody else. But that's what I will go with there. Now Cam Newton, we're gonna remove him from the lineup uh, effective immediately. This guy right here is just out of here. Uh, obviously, as you guys know, he's been stinking up the joint for a while, and uh, we've been looking for his replacement. Finally, that has happened, so we're, we're going to need to upgrade Kyle Murray. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember, there are there are no power ups available; it's just a card. Now, I don't know if it would make sense for them to now give power ups to these cards. I don't expect that to happen because what happens is this right now: 
I'm going to have to spend a certain amount on, you know, the upgrades to him to add it to him. And that won't transfer. So we would actually lose coins. I mean, well, lose training points. And it's going to be annoying to do it. But he does get a scheme, physical, and two abilities. So that means that we would ultimately be able to get him up to about like a 97 speed or something like that. So it's definitely going to uh, be something that is worth it for us for now. But it is something that you're not going to get refunded if they were to, you know, to put out um, actual uh, power-ups for them. So at this time, I do not know. So if you're asking that question in the comments, make sure you guys watch the entire video. Or if anybody that watched the entire video sees somebody ask a question that I've already answered, please do me a favor and just let them know the answer because usually I give them all the information and they just watch like one minute of the video and then start asking all these questions. Then they watch the entire video and never say that, yeah, all right, I, you know, only some of you guys say, like, okay, yeah, you answered it. Some people just leave it there and then the next time, you know, they're going to my Twitch stream like, yeah, I saw that you did it in the rest of the video. So just try to listen to the whole video and understand I do not know. I have no idea if EA is going to give these guys power-ups. No idea at all. If they do, we're going to lose everything that we're adding right now. So you're going to lose a 1,000 for that. We're losing all of these things. Like, that's just the way it is. Now, he does have Gunslinger. Um, obviously, we're going to give him Gunslinger and Conductor. So um, we're going to give him Gunslinger. Bam, that's another 1,000 we're going to lose if anything goes wrong with that. And then we're going to give him Conductor. All right, so he has both those things. And then, you know, he's going to probably, like I said, more than likely, he's going to feel like Russell Wilson. And uh, move around, you know, similar to that, you know, to that type of, you know, whole scene, whatever, like side to side, all that stuff like that. And see, we're going to see how that's going to work out. But he is part of the squad right now. So we are going to be playing with him uh, during the regular, um, do during this time. We're going to be playing with him probably during uh, draft champions and stuff like that to see what it's all about. But just to give you guys a glimpse into how he is, we can probably see, you know, let's go do um, one of the daily ch uh, challenges that we didn't get to do prior and remember they were also limited time solos last night as well let me know if you guys did those because um you know i like i told you i obviously was not getting involved with that bro it, i just didn't have the time to do it it was pretty weird you know what i'm saying it's, it's avengers endgame weekend like it's just so many things going on um my whole schedule is crazy so i wasn't able to be a part of that but like i said if you guys were able to pull good stuff kudos to you guys man i hope you guys enjoyed it i will get you guys some gameplay of kyle murray uh as soon as possible and um, as you can see right there, Madden 20, pre-order it now. Congratulations to Pat Mahomes, but it's not looking good for the Kansas City Chiefs. Obviously, Tyreek Hill's audio has leaked about his case. It, they did say they dropped the charges, but I don't know if they're going to bring new charges. It just looks really wild uh, for the Kansas City Chiefs going into this year. But congratulations, uh, making the cover of Madden 20. Uh, that's well-deserved. He went out there and he balled out like nobody's business. But if Tyreek Hill is not part of that team next year, um, it's going to be pretty bad. It's going to be pretty bad for them. So that's something that you guys might want to look out for just to make sure uh, that you're on the right page with it, all right? Uh, so definitely take a look at that. Um, we'll, I'll be following that closely on my podcast channel right here on YouTube, uh, G Myers World Podcast. So make sure you take a look at that. All right, so let's see Let's see how he's... Um, what do we have? I don't know if I'm going to change my playbook now. I just want to see how he actually throws the ball. Okay, he looks kind of small. I like that. I like that he looks mad small, bro. Like, you guys might not understand that, but I like that. Okay. Oh, bro. This, oh, whoa. Yo, this dude is mad tiny, bro. Okay. Oh, my God, bro. Okay. Okay. Now, keep in mind, guys, this is this is arcade mode. But listen, I just want you guys to understand this, right? When I when I bring Kyler Murray out, dog, like when I bring him out into the game, it's going to be crazy. I'm just letting you guys know right now. It's going to be really, really wild and crazy because regardless of what happens with this card, I like what I just saw right there. So I don't really care about everything else that's going on because he's a mad tiny card. This dude is mad small, but do you see the way? It doesn't matter uh, that it's arcade mode. He's going to throw the ball the same way he would in competitive. So he has that range and everything like that. I just want to make sure that he's going to be like our, our QB that we can hold on for a little bit. Most of you guys are going to think he's going to get rage sold effective immediately. That also could happen. Like Let's not act like it's not a possibility of happening. Absolutely. Absolutely it could happen, but we're going to see what we could do with it. If we don't need to rage sell him ASAP, we just won't. You know what I'm saying? We just won't rage sell him and that and that'll be it. But we we'll we'll see how it works out though. We'll see how it works out. Um I just, I really like that though. I I think that that's uh that's pretty cool the way he just did that. Now, he has a lot of the um he has a lot of similar traits that Cam has, but according to some of his um traits, 
he's like uh he's paranoid and he's throwing picks too so you know that's that's a perfect combination but the dude's paranoid and, and i just tried to throw a pick with a high pass right there but obviously the linebacker was standing right there so i should have never thrown that it is what it is but i do like what i'm seeing so far so i will get you guys out some gameplay as soon as possible you don't have to worry about that as far as cam newton goes he had a special edition draft player so i have to see what his value is going to be and he's going to be rage sold effective immediately the, the thing about it is if you really analyze what i'm doing right i i have a lot of players that i haven't even sold yet that i've, I've replaced other players with like dudes are getting just removed um and uh they're just there like i quick sold adrian peterson to be able to get that Kyler murray through picks so you know i'm i'm working it bro i'm working it you know the right way trying to see what's going on with it so i do have opportunity to be able to get other cards that are coming out very shortly because remember for my ultimate legend team i still need alan page all right so those things are something that i i want to make sure you guys understand also i didn't i don't think i clicked on the button uh clicked on the card to let you guys see his numbers i gotta go back to his numbers bro like i i, I completely forgot about that so let me let me go ahead and um let's choose some clock and get out of this game so you guys can see that i want to be able to see uh what his actual stats are actually we can look at it in this game though I can just pause it so I can let you guys see uh, where he's at right now. Let's go over to the depth chart and check out what it is so that way we can figure it out. I completely forgot. All right, so he goes to a 97 speed, um, 96 Excel. I know he don't got no truck, but he got. He should have spin, though. All right, spin, is, spin moves are 89. Stiff arm is low, obviously. Juke move 92. All right, uh, let's look at his other catching. Okay, so throw under pressure, 99. So that paranoid trait don't really mean nothing. Throwing on a run, 99. Medium, 92. Deep throw is a 99. Okay. Short throw, 97. Throw power is 99. Okay. So he has a lot of break sack, 99. This dude, this dude ain't no joke. Play action, 97. Not bad, man. So those, those are the numbers right there. Um, stamina, 97. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you guys know this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably, and more than likely, I'm gonna be playing some weekend league. All right. Twitch.tv forward slash G Myers World. You guys might get a special uh, YouTube stream. So for all of my members that are waiting for that, that's something that you, prob you probably could look forward to. That'll be coming very soon as well. So make sure you got your members your membership ready. Uh, click that join button so that once the stream goes live, you're already a member of the channel. You don't want to get left out, bro, and be that one guy like, yo, bro, man, I was going to do it. But, yo, you know this happened. Like, bro, listen, it is what it is. You know how we roll. We roll pretty deep when it comes out to it. Uh, when we're streaming on YouTube. So definitely get all that stuff done. I'm going to run through the rest of this and I'm going to get you out some more content. We're going to be talking some Madden 20. Let me know uh, some of the things that you guys are interested in. Get me all that info. All right. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all at G Myers World. And until next time, one love.